Hello and welcome to Unity Gurus. In this video, we will learn how to integrate Google Ads in your game with a live demo of Google Ads working in a game released on Play Store. And we will also learn how to use ADB Logcat to debug or test your game and find the error using a real Android device. Before we start, I want to tell you that I have already made a video on Google Ads. So this time instead of making the same video again, I have just added a few extra steps which are necessary in order to properly implement Google Ads. So I suggest you first watch my previous video and follow all the steps then come back to this video and make a few changes which I'm gonna show you in this video. And if you follow all the steps correctly, your ads will surely appear in your game. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see I have published my knock it down game and it's now available on play store and it contains ad because I enabled the ad option while publishing the app on the play store. Before we continue I want to tell you that this is not a final game I just roughly wrap up the project and upload it to play store just to check the google ads. So there may be a lots of bug in the game please ignore them. Okay, let's open up the game and see if the ads are working or not. It will take a few seconds to load the banner ad and as you can see on the bottom the banner ads are showing which means our banner ads are working fine. Let's play the game and check if full screen ads and rewarded video ads are also working. Let's start the game and by the way this game is running very slow because I didn't work on the optimization. Maybe I will make another video to show you how can optimize the game and get a decent FPS with all the post effects. Let's quickly complete the level and you can see that my interstitial or full screen ads are also working. Let's also quickly check the last type of ad which is rewarded video ad. Let's throw all the balls and make the game over. Again it's showing the full screen ads after the level complete or game over. Let me close this one. Ok so this is our game over screen and if I click on get more ball button I should see a rewarded video ad. So let's try this. Ok so now you can see that our rewarded video ads are also working. Let's wait till it complete. And now we have seen the complete video. So this is our receive reward panel. And if I click on this receive reward button, I should get 3 extra balls. So I click on receive and voila. You can see that we have received 3 extra balls which we can use in our game to complete the level. As you just saw that all the ads are working fine. Even though there is an issue which I also want to mention that right now I'm using my mobile data for the internet. But if I use my Wi-Fi broadband connection then the ads will not work. I don't know what's the reason behind it. It could be firewall issue or it could be my device issue. I don't know. To show you that let's turn off mobile data and use my mobile Wi-Fi and try running the game again. Let's wait for a few seconds and you see after waiting for a few seconds the banner ads are still not appeared and let's complete a level and test full screen ad. Ok so you see that there are no ads after the level is complete and the same problem with the rewarded video ad. So if you also having this kind of issue then I suggest you to use different type of mobile networks or mobile devices and see if the problem is in the device or in the mobile network. Let's also quickly go to unity and see what changes I have made in the ad manager script. Ok so now I have opened up unity and let's have a look at the ad manager script inside visual studio. So the first change I have made is that I replaced my test IDs with my original IDs from the admob account. And you make sure to change IDs only when you are building the final apk file from unity. Ok I am again telling you guys do not test your game with real IDs. Ok please do not test it it may ban your google admob account. Right now you cannot see my original IDs because I have blurred them out and you should also not share your original IDs with anyone because anybody can use it for testing and for that you may get your admob account banned. Second change I have made that I forget to initialize the mobile ads in my previous admob video even though later I added these lines in the description. So if you check the description then you already know it. It's very simple just add this line of code in the start method of your ad manager script. The third correction I made in the show full screen ad method. As you can see here I am requesting a new full screen or interstitial ad right after showing a full screen ad. Because when you show a full screen ad to a user you need to make a new request for new ad. Because the full screen ads are one time use only. Once you have shown the ad on the screen it destroyed from the memory and to show it again you need to request for a new interstitial ad. So if you are having a problem that your interstitial ad only appear once then you need to check if you are requesting for new interstitial ad or not. 
okay and rest of the code is the same let's move to the fourth and final correction which i made in the android manifest file by the way you can find this android manifest.xml file in your project folder if you go to unity and search for manifest and this is your manifest file if you are using other third party plugins like in a purchase or leaderboard then you may have more than one android manifest file in that case you need to find the manifest file which has more line of code again this is not an official solution this is how i manage multiple manifest file basically when building the final apk the compiler merge all the lines from every manifest file into a single android manifest file but in my case i only have single manifest file so i'm going to use this one so in this manifest file i have added these extra lines how do you find these lines if you go to google admobs website from where you have downloaded the admob plugin for unity and in this set your admob id section these are the extra line which i have copied into my android manifest file you basically just copy and paste these lines and just replace your original app id here in the android value tag and you are good to go so these are the main changes which i made in my project before publishing to play store let me also show you my final app on play store so this is my developer account and you can see my app is now published and available for download let me also show you some more details you can see that there is only one install which is obviously me if you want to know how did i upload my apk to play store then i have also made a separate video on that you can watch that from the i button or from the link in the description let me also show you my admob account to give you an idea how the ads are working this is my knock it down app and it's now linked to my play store app if your admob app is not linked to your play store app then it will give you an option to link both apps you basically just type the package name and search for the app to link it to the play store app this is the app overview section and you can see that there are some request and impression which are coming from these app ids this means that your ads are working fine and you can see that i have an ecpm of 0.15 dollar which means if i get more impression and clicks on my ad then i will definitely generate some revenue from it so these are the basic steps to use google admob in your project if you still have any problem then you can ask me in the comment section or join my discord server lastly i also want to show you how you can debug your app from an actual android device to find out if there is any error in your admob integration okay first you install your game in your testing device and make sure you have an active internet connection then connect your device to your pc using a usb cable next in the connecting option choose ptp or photo transfer mode because this is the only option in which you can see the debug messages okay that's it for the android device let's go back to pc to read the debug messages in your pc in the search menu type cmd and start command prompt next in the command prompt type adb and hit enter and you will see a list of commands on your screen if you see any error message like adb is not recognized as an external or internal command then you first need to enable adb in your computer this is a long process so i will give a link in the description from where you can follow the steps and enable adb in your pc once you have enabled adb on your pc type adb logcat hyphen s or minus s whatever you call it unity and hit enter and now you can see it has successfully started a daemon server on my pc and ready to listen the debug messages from android device now if i open up my app in my android device you see lots of messages are showing in the command prompt which basically are coming from my android device right now this command prompt window is very small and you are not able to see all the messages and even if i try to maximize it you see it's still not working so to fix it press control c to exit out of debug mode and type wmic and hit enter and now you can use your mouse to extend the window and then press control c again to exit out of wmic mode then press the up arrow key to go back to your previous command and press enter to go back into the debug mode and now we can read all the message properly okay and by the way i'm using the wi-fi network to show you the error messages because ads are working fine when i use the mobile data and you can clearly see in the first few lines that it is failed to load rewarded video ads due to network error which means there is some problem with my network not in my code let's start the game and try to complete a level and see if the full screen ads are working or not and now my level is complete and we are on loading next level and you see full screen ads are not loaded because of the network problem and by the way this message if i go back to my visual studio 
This is the debug message we are getting in our locat window, which is called when the ad is not loaded properly. Let's also try the rewarded video ads and you can see these are also not working and we are getting the rewarded video ad not loaded message which is again from your ad manager script. Ok so that's how you can test your app from a real android device using adb logcat. If you already know this process then it's great and if you don't then please give it a like and subscribe the channel and also share with your friends who are having this kind of issues. So this is the complete process of integrating google ads in your game. And again, if you have any kind of issues, you can ask me in the comment section or join my discord server. The link is given in the description and thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.